Hi, I'm John Bean, the CEO and co-founder of MIM Computing. The scale of many optimization problems like routing, scheduling, analytics, and AI is such that it would require years to compute an optimal solution. Therefore, many companies have had to rely upon approximations. This relates to cost and efficiencies that adds up to hundreds of millions of dollars a year in, in many cases. Quantum computing is being designed to address problems of this nature. However, quantum computing is still in its infancy. It's at least 10 years before quantum computing will be able to address problems at the scale that industry requires. That's where MEM computing comes in. We're tearing down the walls associated with the hype of quantum computing. With it, within three years, with just five engineers, we've developed our new state-of-the-art patented MEM computing technology that runs on standard computers. Like quantum computing, MEM computing is a physics-based approach to computation. MEM computing harnesses the power of the physics associated with digital circuit design in ways never before imagined. We've reinvented the standard logic circuit with our self-organizing logic gates. These are designed to overcome the bottlenecks in current computing where memory and CPU are separate. Our SOLGs are made up of mini processors with memory. The SOLGs are designed such that they actually negotiate to solve a problem. The key to this is that the SOLGs actually are aware of all the changes in the circuit as they occur. This is known as the physics of non-locality, something that was only available before quantum computing but MEM computing has introduced it today, completely changing the game. Our virtual MEM computing machine is completely emulated in software today and is running thousands of times faster than best in class methods on, uh, focused on optimization problems. Our MEM computing chips that are realizable in silicon using ma current manufacturing techniques are under development and will be delivered as soon as 2022. Let me share some examples of our virtual MEM computing machine in action. The Port of Singapore came to us with a problem that was taking over 70 hours to compute. With MEM computing, we're able to solve this same problem in less than a second. In another situation, an oil and gas company came to us with a, a cost optimization problem. It was taking 40 hours to compute an approximation for this solution. With MEM computing in just two hours, we're able to provide an optimal solution, saving the company three to $4 million per month. As I mentioned, our virtual MEM computing machine is available today as a software as a service model, and it's free to evaluate. So companies can take their own benchmarks and test them against our, our computational engine completely for free. Now, a commercial license follows a standard cloud-based usage model subscription fee, uh, and our pricing may seem a little more expensive. However, when you consider the days and weeks of compute time saved, it's really quite a bargain. Our business model is one of crawl, walk, and then run. It, we began crawling in 2019 when we released our VMM as a cloud-based software as a service model. We'll begin to walk next year when we released our virtual MEM computing machine as a library that could be integrated in virtually any system and run on premises or even at the edge. Our MEM computing chips will be available in 2022, as we said, and then we'll begin running. These will, these new technology, this new technology associated with these chips is such that they'll likely be the backbone of supercomputers of the future. Uh, their real-time capability is something that is very well positioned for things like autonomous vehicles, drones and aircraft, and satellites, places where you're not likely to ever see a quantum computer. So MEM computing is tearing down the walls associated with the hype of quantum computing. MEM computing is here today, and we thank you for your time in allowing me to uh, share this with you. Thank you.